Now, how to know which one is to be trusted or not? This is a different issue. We have to look at the conduct of the scholar or the student of knowledge. We have to look at those who praised such a scholar or a student of knowledge. Because appearing on, a, on your TV screens does not make a person a scholar. It makes him a lucky person. He got a chance to come and address you. But you have to scrutinize a person. So if you see someone free mixing with women, flirting with women, listening to music, doesn't have a clear path or manhaj when it comes to aqeedah, everything is okay, it's a cocktail, let's go ahead and do it. This is not someone you should follow. If you see someone who does not have con consistency, so 10 years ago, he was calling to the madhab of Ahl, manhaj of Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah and the aqeedah of as salaf al salih and he flipped. He changed to the dark side, as they say. And he is no longer promoting the manhaj of the salaf and he thinks that he is better virgin and more knowledgeable. Or he's introducing bid'ah ah, or he's collaborating with the people of bid'ah. Ah. This is someone that you should leave aside. If you see someone who is a super trooper and he thinks that, no, I am the only one around who's right. Everybody's wrong. This da'i, a'udhu billah, he is not on the man hajj. This da'i is an innovator. This da'i, he is probably from the hizbis or from this or from, oh, and start labeling people like you have mentioned in your third question, which we will come to. Then again, this is bad news and Allah knows best.